Whoa, do dog's going crazy. I don't know if y'all follow our Instagram or not, but we finally got Ronnie's truck on the ground. Got it looking good. Suspension looks good. No more giant positive camber in the front, which is nice. I mean, just to see it in rolling shape. Just waiting on a motor, right? While we're waiting on a motor, we're gonna do an, an emissions delete today um, on my hard body. Ronnie's already got all the emissions deleted off of his. He's done an engine delete where he has no, no motor and uh, pretty much an everything else delete. Uh, my truck is still factory under the hood. So we'll be doing an emissions delete today. This hood. It totally has the door chime. It's so annoying. <laughs> Because it doesn't do it when the key's in it. It does it all the time. It's crazy. Anyway, so it's all factory except for this right here. We just have the cover off of that. But uh, anyway, we're going to get rid of some of this. Clean the engine bay up a little bit. See if we can make some room for uh, when I want to go turbo and whatnot. That's for my tachometer. Oh, is that what this? Yeah, it clips onto that, That's cool. that coil wire. And it just sends the signal into the tech. That makes it easy. It's super easy. Anyways, we were, we've been over here for a little bit, um, looking at this axle right here. What were you saying about ricers? I said any ricer could do it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was driving back from Tucson uh, last night, and I smelt gear oil. So, limped it back here with a bunch of banging and clacking and nastiness. And as it turns out, my wheel bearing's gone on the, on the uh, passenger rear. So uh, you'll be seeing a video on replacing that. <laughs> unless I don't feel like doing it. Unless I feel like taking it somewhere else. But uh, hopefully we can find somebody um, that can give us some insight on how to do that. Yeah, right? All right, so this is what we're doing. We're gonna take off the EGR stuff, which is this round thing here and this little pump right here, air pump or whatever. Uh, we're gonna take off the charcoal canister we're going to try to leave the brake booster line and the fuel pressure regulator vacuum line and no other vacuum lines and see what happens. Um, we're not really concerned about what this is and what this does and all that kind of stuff. We just want it gone. It's, we know it's emission stuff, so we're taking it off. We don't need it. There's no emissions testing here in Sierra Vista. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you live like in California or Phoenix or whatever, like maybe you need to leave that on there. But Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't think with this with this vehicle being almost thirty years old, I wouldn't even think you'd need. Do you do emissions testing on thirty year old vehicles? I have no idea. That's the problem that I've never had to face. Do you have a thirty year old vehicle and do emissions testing? We'd like to know. Oh, turning wrenches today. Yeah, dude, put me to work. Never have to work up in here. What's the world coming to? All right, first, get rid of this canister. We got this little thing coming out the bottom that just feeds down into the fender well. We have two vacuum lines coming off top, or three vacuum lines coming off the top. One going back here to this that goes across there and down to probably the gas tank. Yeah, probably back to the tank. Might. It's this larger one. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it goes down, curves back around, and goes back toward the fuel tank. Um, we will probably just route that, we'll probably cut that short and route it back down toward the ground. I mean, it was just coming into here and going toward the ground anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. 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 We're going to take these. There's two other ones and they run across here, right? Yep. Yep. That one that I just pulled off and then this fat one here. I'm just going to cut. Or I'm going to attempt to cut <clears throat> with zero success. See, I have a knife right here. So. All 
I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Keep your razor. Ha! Ah, <laughs> my mini katana did it, dude. <laughs> I'll put it back. <laughs> Alright, and so that was this big one. Here. Yes. So the big one runs to the throttle body back here. My finger's on it. You can't really see it because this harness, but it goes down in there. Then this little one here runs to right here where my finger is. So we'll pull that one off. She's off. That nipple right there. That's where it goes. Right there. And then this big one goes back in there. We were we were looking at my old intake manifold and it looks like there's only a few ports that actually come off the the manifold there's one back here which goes to the brake booster um, there's this little one right here there's this big one and then uh, there's this little one here that we can see on this truck and it feeds the spider web that's down here that's all these nipples like the one that we just pulled off nipples. What are you taking off now? That air I'm pump thing? I'm taking off this air pump thingy right here. And it runs... It runs right here. Does it have power going to it anyway? And it goes to this metal line, which runs down into the exhaust. Do you think it's all vacuum operated? Because uh, it doesn't look like it has, like, power going to it or anything. I guess. I don't know. I need for it to be a pump. Weird. Weird. What's up, Levi? What are you doing? Oh, watch your head. What's up, punk? Your hair's all crazy today. So this is what we got out so far. Got this little pump thing here, canister there. So much room for activities. Um, pump was mounted here. It had another line coming off of it that goes to that thing there. I don't know what that is, but we're going to take it off. Um, if stuff is going to EGR, we're taking it off. Canister was right here. We're going to take this uh, this bracket off, probably cut it separate from the uh, the coil bracket, just so we can uh, clean that up. Uh, next, we're going to get this off right here. If anybody was uh, a little fuzzy on this 10 millimeter missing wrench socket thing, this should clear it up here. Look right here. 12, 11, Where's the 10? I don't know. All the way down. 19, all the way down to, uh, what was that, 11? No 10. Oh my goodness. Where's the sockets? Look at this right here. Where's the 10? Nowhere. Pretty sure I have his only 10 in the whole garage over here. I'm looking for the daggum. 10 millimeter opening wrench and I can't find that. I've got his only 10 millimeter socket right there. Dang it. So our pile's getting bigger over here. We got a few things off. Yeah, this thing, that thing, this thing, we call them things because they don't matter. We don't give a crap in the bracket for that thing. <clears throat> Here's what we cleared out so far. Got a big old hole in here. You couldn't even see that fender before. And there it is. Boom. There might even be some factory paint in there somewhere. Alright, so when we disconnected this thing right here, um, it had two big uh, hoses coming off of it, and one went to here, on the bottom of this right here, and the other one goes down to right here. That right there. This, in turn, goes down and merges into the exhaust down there. You can see it. See that little orange portion right there? See that right there where it goes into the exhaust? Now, you can take that, you can cut that and crimp it, or I think you can take that, that nut out of there. If you can see the nut, you can take it out of there, and I think you can put like a nickel in there. I think it's about, it is on uh, 240SXs, it's about the size of a nickel. Shove a nickel in there and just run the run the nut back in. The trick is getting the nut off the pipe though. The, uh, the pipe you have to cut it so that it's round so you can 
slide the nut off. If it's, you know, if you pinch it on the bottom, you end up having to mangle it all up to get the nut off, which is not a big deal. It's just kind of hard to do. You'll figure it out. But yeah, I think what I'm going to try to do is take that nut off, put a nickel in there, and then put the nut back in. Um, it doesn't seal up perfectly, but it definitely seals up enough. This exhaust gives a crap. So I needed to get to this uh, EGR tube back here, that EGR tube, and this heat shield's covering it. Uh, I was man I managed to get a couple of the bolts out, but uh, well, one broke off right there, and the other one came out. The other two are rounded off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld these nuts onto those bolts and see if we can back them out that way. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I got it. Bam! It's glowing red, guys. <laughs> we'll let it cool off. Yeah, dude. This machine is too much, guys. No, it's only hand tight. Get your hand up, man. <laughs> you just back it off. Let me get that. Let me get that, Russell. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna this other one. Since we're waiting. Ronnie got some more car parts in. I'm over here slaving away with his stupid heat shield, and Ronnie's getting car parts. It's not exciting. Like, it's to fix a problem so my wife doesn't die. You got hard body parts, though, too. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I managed to get that heat shield off the manifold, and lo and behold, Look at this. How good does that crack look? It goes all the way through. I wonder if I unbolted this thing, if it would fall into two pieces. Maybe you just took these four out if you just have this side. Oh my gosh, dude. It'd be hilarious. We know what that means, right? Turbo time? Turbo time! <laughs> Dang, dude. That thing is... Turbo time! It is turbo time! <laughs> Levi says it's turbo time. No. No, it's not turbo time? No. <laughs> all right. You don't know. You're just a little kid. <laughs> so, we managed to get off everything on this side. Um, I had to break this tube off right here. And I'm gonna try to get the, the bottom end off of it right there. We're gonna work on this EG tube, this EGR tube next right here. And then, we'll work on this side. Do we have a lot to remove, Ronnie? We have some vacuum hoses, right? That's it. Just and that canister right there. That canister. This. What is that piece? even? That canister. I have no idea. Okay. We have no idea. It's ask, about the size of an old beer can. Ask one of them. Whoa. Dogs are dying out here. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Minnie! She's an idiot. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> anyway, you gotta take this off and that off. The all the vacuum lines that run to all the bull crap. When we take off that back stuff, that's when we'll do block off flights, right? Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. Time to wrestle some more uh, rusted exhaust. By the way, we used, we tried to use a socket wrench. We tried to use, uh, we tried to weld nuts onto these nuts right here, these ones that sheared off. We tried to weld nuts onto there to get them to back off. One of them worked, two of them didn't. And we had to air hammer the, well, I tried to grind one off, and we ended up air hammering the other one. So violent. My goodness. This is how we work on cars it, over here. <laughs> you look like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, dude. What's up, dude? You look like Leatherface as a child. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> there was no way that this nut was coming off. I ended up cutting off this tube and cutting this last little section off right here. Still a little warm. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get up in here and we're going to crimp this. Just like pinch it, fold it over, or weld it, something like that. But we'll pinch it together and weld it just so we don't have the exhaust pouring out of there. Um, look at Ronnie and Levi over there doing Christmas family stuff. Looking at the looking at the Summit Christmas catalog, <laughs> Summit Racing Christmas. Nice. Anyway, we have decided to make this a two-part video. We're gonna do the intake side, or not the intake side, but the uh, 
do the air pump side and then we're gonna we're gonna cut right now and when we do the next video it'll be the EGR side so let me show y'all what all we took off today <coughs> this is it this is our haul from the uh, air pump side we have the air pump exhaust manifold heat shield charcoal canister whatever this thing is called I have no idea <coughs> A bunch of random brackets and hoses and stuff like that. And uh, we ended up with a bunch of room over here. A bunch of like uh, open area space for turbo business. Which uh, because of this exhaust manifold crack we will be starting on fairly soon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ronnie says, Ronnie says tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, if y'all have suggestions for turbos for... Um, engine management, something like that. Just, you know, post your suggestions, whatever. I was thinking about going with uh, <clears throat> Mega Squirt because they have a plug and play option for this D21, for early model D21s, or for early model single, single red cam KAs. Um, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. We got some pinching and welding to do, and that'll be it. Look at this kid. He's just deep in, in racing Christmas over here. Huh. Alright, we'll see y'all later. Are we done? Are we done? I don't know. Were you going to pinch that off or are you going to do that later? Uh, we're going to pinch it off. I wasn't going to do it on camera. I was just going to oh. pinch it and weld it and that'll be it. Alright. So All right. we're done. Bye. <laughs>